A few weeks ago, ladies and gents, the internet was introduced to this wonderful woman. Well, I'm fat fucking 10. So I don't know. Men are fucking shit. Jack, I did a podcast last night. I've been hiding. She appeared on the Whatever podcast, and if you're unfamiliar with that podcast, it's basically where they get delusional women to come in and they debate dudes. It's great viewing, and everybody loves it. But the gorgeous woman in question, she exploded into internet superstardom, ladies and gents. All because she rated herself a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Ask everyone to rate themselves on the scale of 1 to 10, so let's do that. <sighs> Done. People had many different reactions, uh, and these are some of my favourite. Richard Radboy1 says, been enjoying this podcast, great takes. Yes, they were talking about the girls and their great opinions. Great takes from Ashley, Rachel, Gorlock the Destroyer, Tiffany. <laughs> that is a real photo, by the way. It looks like it's been superimposed and she's closer to the camera than everybody else. Have a look at old love on the right. She is leaning away from Gorlock. Actually, you know what? This reminds me of the Da Vinci Code where they find that hidden symbol. Look at this. It's actually, if you look at it, it's an upside down triangle, which is coincidentally uh, old love on the left's body shape. Hi, I'm Kiko. I'm 23. Uh, I go to UCSB and I also bartend. That's not funny at all. That doesn't deserve 8.3 million views on Twitter. Now you may see all this and think, hey, 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 why is this prick with the receding hairline having a go at this lady's body? And I'll say this, two things. Number one, if you are so delusional that you will go out into the public sphere on the internet and rate yourself a 10 out of 10 when obviously... You're less than a 10, all right? You put yourself out there, you open yourself up to public ridicule. Consider this public ridicule. Secondly, her name's Ali Wheezy. Yes, Wheezy. The name that she gave herself after she went up any hill ever. Wheezy by name, Wheezy by nature. This 23-year-old trans woman's introduction during her appearance in the podcast Anyway, old Wheezy has garnered some fame from this. She's actually got well over 200,000 TikTok followers now, and I think it would be remiss if we didn't get to know her a little bit better. Consider this, Wheezy's origin story. Hi, besties! Hi, besties! Hi, besties! Hi, besties! Hi, besties! That's her fucking catchphrase in every video. It rings in my brain after researching for this video, okay? I can't sleep without hearing that shit. I'm literally leaving the club early because men are fucking shit. Men are fucking shit. Shit hot! Fuck yeah, high five shit hot blokes. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm in the fucking drive through of the Jack in a Box on my way home and to go fucking eat my feelings. Like, what the fuck? You must have a lot of feelings. Like, I'm literally a fucking 10. This bastard just not see this is why she cops this shit, because she carries on like that. That was it? What did you say? This bastard. That was all I heard. Put oh your gloves on. What the fuck? If I saw a dude dressed like that, surely someone would say something. Surely someone would give them a look. But all the chicks there doing their fucking hair going, yes, we're all fucking tens. We're all so hot and so attractive and we deserve the fuck off, you fucking losers. So that video is different. Uh, she looks good, don't get me wrong, uh, but her caption in this is, uh, your man is still in my DMs, lol. If by DMs you mean the direct messages in a particular app, and that app happens to be Uber Eats, and by your man you mean the delivery driver, then yeah, your man probably is in her DMs. It's another fat joke. What else do you, what else do you expect? Hi besties. So I'm really fucking out of breath right now, but... Why does she shoot at that angle? 
In what world is that a good angle for anybody? G'day, you good motherfuckers. The butts man here. Buy my merch, etc, etc. Check out Raid Shadow Legends. Fucking hell, there must be a fucking fire in here. Between her thighs. That's where the smoke's coming from. Ha <laughs> ha. Why do chicks get that gap between their teeth? What do you want me to do? You look like a fucking pencil sharpener, you weird cunt. Do you guys know what today is? <laughs> Lunchtime? Today is the day that God decided to bless everybody here on this planet. Thanks, big fella. With my presence. Fuck you, big fella. I just got home from running errands and shit like that. Just... Do not say you were running anything, you fucking liar. But I wanted to hop on here real quickly and just talk to you guys, honestly. It's like 30 seconds, and now she wants to talk to us. This last year honestly has changed my life. I hate the way women talk these days. I just wanted to tell you about something that I'm planning, and I tell you what, I know it's Tuesday, but I tell you this, fucking... Complete the sentence. Talk normally. I have this platform thanks to you guys. This, this changed my life, guys. Insert platform joke in the comments, please. Thank you. Haters, I'll be praying for you. Don't wink at me. Yuck. I've been trying to give it to you all night. You look like a truck driver. You look like a male truck driver. All alone. Surely you know that doesn't look good, love. Surely. It's this attitude of, I am so beautiful, I'm so perfect, no matter how I look. It's what's on the inside that counts. All that shit. That's what's led to this lady being extremely morbidly obese, endangering her health, and then living this delusional life where she thinks she's some hot chick. Like, that, that shouldn't happen. She should realise that she has a very severe problem that may lead her to an early grave and she should address it. Not parade around like that. This is why people are making fun of her and that's also not going to lead to anything good. I am going to jerk off over her later though. I'm just going to do it to punish myself. Okay, so my friend just invited me to get some last minute drinks for my birthday. She doesn't look real. You know what? I'm down, but let me throw a quick fit together. So I'm wearing this cute fashion of the top. Ripped jeans from Target. Fashion Nova should be put down. My ass look really, really nice. Did she pop a boob out then? My Tiffany necklace, my Chanel earrings, and I'm gonna pair it with this bumper bag. That bag is actually a duffel bag, but just with her, it looks quite small. And of course, my favorite shoes right now, my platform Converse. Don't forget to check out part one. I'm not checking out part one. Piss off. <laughs> She's really okay, small. Okay, Bessie, so I'm in LA. I'm on my way to get some coffee right now because I have to be on set again at four. Um, set for a completely again? Different pro what are you doing? Project, I did a podcast last night. But guys, the doll is in LA. Hi, Bessie. Wheezy, wheezy. Honestly, I forgot how fucking bomb I look in a bikini top. Like, you're kidding. No, because honestly, I cannot wait till summer because it's gonna be bikini bottom every day around here, babe. You're gonna sink to bikini <laughs> Come on, you're making it too easy. That was the end? God, TikTok's fucking stupid. God, Cardiano, Cardiano. I was home with my kid, mommy, <laughs> What the fuck, mate? Quick, open the day. <laughs> Car alarms are going because she walked past them. <laughs> I'm going to the comments. Surely. Damn, lava hound. What's a lava hound? That's gotta be CGI. Do the roar. Do the roar. The jeans, Target, the Birkins, Coach bag, and the sunnies. And the hair is fake. Ladies and gents, we've looked at a lot of weird things on this show. We've seen some horrible things, some sad things, some happy, some fun things. That entire video can only be described as eye-opening. I don't think I'll ever be the same again. I don't think you'll ever be the same again. And if she ever gets OnlyFans, I promise to review it for all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, be dick stinks. For more content and to get it earlier, check out our Patreon. It's only $2 a month. We'll see you next time. Toodle au revoir. Bye bye.